this magnificent plant, this really tall, beautiful sunflower that we are looking at is Jerusalem artichoke, Helianthus tuberosa or tuberosus. I'll put the right one in the description. And this plant blooms late. It likes fairly moist soils and it's well timed to the monarch migration and to any other late season migrators or just those looking for food. Ooh, there goes a crow overhead. <laughs> it's very hard to keep in it, my attention on something. There's so much happening. So this is just a really beautiful plant. It smells like chocolate. The blooms do. Yes, they do. And the tubers, it's the type of root they have, are edible to people. And they're really good. You can use them pretty much like potatoes and they just don't take any effort to grow. And as I'm finding, and as Steve's finding, that we're just wanting to do more and more other things, these foods for us and for other life that we don't have to do a lot of manipulating on are more and more and more treasured. So look back here, that's them. I mean, those things are probably 12 feet tall. <laughs> now they're not gonna get that high in spots where they're not as happy. We have some on our west fence row and they're probably around seven feet or so because it's a lot drier. And these guys, if they don't get enough rain, will eventually tell you they're not happy. So you're gonna see these a lot in bottomland areas or ditches, but they do want sun. So we have some part shade, always experiment. It just depends on the site. They're very stout stemmed. Let's see if we can get in here. Purpley, hairy, and again, gorgeous. They smell like chocolate. They provide food for all kinds of insects and then later as they set seed birds and they provide food for humans and of course also mammals. So really, what's not to love about them? Drew some artichoke. If you're in range, grow them.